Okay. Yeah. Right there. I'm back. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Man, I feel like it's been a minute, but your boy was trying to stay cool for the past few days because in the Bay Area, it was hot. With all that being said, you might see me crack a little sweat because my room feels like a sauna right now even though it's nighttime, but it's all good. I want to get this video out for you guys. Not too long ago, I decided to bring a brand new series on this channel where I flip sneakers for cold hard cash. Now the last video got 50,000 views and almost 2,500 likes and it seemed like you guys loved it. So for this video, I'm gonna set the bar a little bit higher. Let's shoot for 2,500 likes on this one. I know y'all can do it, just run it up. YouTube's also been telling me that my subscriber percentage has been going up and up and up. We're currently at about 33%. So 33% of the people that are watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you guys are not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe bell and let's get closer to 575,000 subscribers. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Sneakerhead in the Bay. And today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a look at a buyout that I did from one of my homies out in Texas. This was the first buyout that I've ever done that was not local and everything went extremely well. So with all that being said, I'm gonna be running down everything that I bought in this box. and on this side of me, I'm gonna have the competitive market price of all the sneakers that we're about to see. Now, obviously, whenever we buy sneakers, we're buying them to flip, so we're trying to profit off of bulk deals. So you're probably wondering, Alex, what did you buy this box for? $1,950. All right, I'm excited to show you guys what we got, so let's check it out. <sighs> we got a lot of shoes here. I think we have about 10 sneakers in this little lot that I bought. We're slowly working up, baby. We're slowly working up. So if you guys have any sneakers you wanna sell, you can go ahead and DM me and make sure your price right we'll get into that a little bit later but let's check out what we got first things first we have an air jordan one box it's a red box so what could it be these are the women's air jordan ones that just came out the unc to chicago colorway if you guys missed out on the video that i did on these i converted this pair right here into the band air jordan ones with the band logo on the back and they came out super fire one thing I love about this pair is the quality of the leather. It just looks super premium. And I think that this is a really nice shoe right now, especially if you guys are looking for an Air Jordan 1 for a decent price. These aren't too crazy in price right now. So if you guys are trying to get them, get them ASAP. Cause over time, you know how Air Jordan 1s are. These babies will go up. But yes, this is a DS pair looking super nice and super crispy. If you guys are interested in purchasing this one, this is a size 10 and a half in women's. And whenever you want to convert men to women, size or women to men's size all you got to do is calculate 1.5 difference so if this is a woman's 10 and a half this is going to be a size 9 all the prices listed right here are going to be the general range that I'm going to be selling these on my website for. So if you guys see something you like, hit the site ASAP because shoes do sell out. Every single video that we've done, all the shoes sell out. So you have to go ASAP. Let's keep it moving. Definitely a solid one. Ooh, yeah. Do I see a swoosh box? Nike Zoom Fly Tulip Pink Racer Pinks. All right, let's open these up. Yes, sir. The color on these is insane. It's like a very bright pink. Definitely a summer shoe that I could see a lot of people wearing with maybe some white Nike long socks. But the cool thing about this pair is that it's completely see-through. So if you guys want to ever change the look of this shoe, you just change your socks and it makes it super easy. One thing about this sneaker is that when you wear it, you're going to see creases on the midsole. So what I'll probably do before I sell these is I'm going to uncrease the midsole, make it look a lot more presentable. And that's how you get a lot more money out of your sneaker whenever you're selling them some people think I'm crazy for cleaning these shoes before I sell them but honestly think about it man if you could get a better price if they look more clean and more presentable wouldn't y'all do the same I think it's a no-brainer but regardless I think this is a pretty clean shoe besides the midsole creases of course that's going to happen this one does look like it's been worn but it doesn't look too bad these are not beaters and I know that these are going to add a ton of money to the counter and it low-key feels like I'm doing like a sneaker beater box and I know some of y'all have been asking about that so don't worry I have one on the way okay I just been waiting on shipping and all of that I was super hyped when I saw these and I might keep these for a personal if they don't sell out but judging on how we've been doing in the past I know these will sell out shopsoltopia.com right here is the website and everything will be linked down below all right oh let's switch it up real quick let's get base size in here 
Size 5, Yeezy box, Yeezy 350s, and these are the Citrons. Pop these babies open, ooh, ooh. Somebody's girlfriend is gonna be super happy to get these. I haven't really been into Yeezys lately, man. I feel like all the colors look very similar. I just lost track, to be honest with you guys. Let me know if you guys are feeling the same, right? Because I feel like they just take whatever shade this is, tone it down or tone it up a little bit, and then they call it a new colorway. And like I said, these are a size 5, and look at the bottoms of these. These might be brand new actually now they do look like they've been tried on they have like a little bit of dust at the bottom but other than that man if i just went like this you would not be able to tell that these were tried on so essentially a ds pair of the yeezy 350 boost citrons for your lady those are real heavy hitters right there because i know how yeezys are especially in that size five that's why I went and copped this box right here. Now, one of the cool things about the person that I bought this from is that he is a subscriber and he's been subscribed for the longest time, right? I went over to Texas to do a sneaker event and we finally linked in person. And when we chilled, it was like we were already homies for the longest time, right? He already knew who I was and his personality was something that I clicked with because I know those kind of people. When y'all come up at sneaker cons and stuff and you just put out that vibe, I already feel like I know you, okay? Because I do get a lot of that from you guys. So I do appreciate anybody that says what's up. This encounter turned into a really dope relationship. He basically sold me all of these for a really good price and that's what I like to see because a lot of people when they're selling bulk they don't really price it a little bit under market price because obviously the person that's buying it is trying to resell it for money right. So if y'all are like this right here this deal really didn't need any negotiation. I was like okay your prices are already good. I'm not going to jip you. I'm just going to give you what you want. And the only thing we negotiated was that we're going to split shipping half half. So that's why it was $19.50 instead of 2000 shipping was 100 bucks we split it both ways 50 50 all right so 1950 so if you guys have any bulk deals under market price like my homie chris right here dm me i'll go ahead and look everything and if it's worth it on my end of course i'm gonna cash you out okay if you need money for something bills whatever's coming up dm me on instagram and we could probably get something working so chris I really do appreciate it. You got crazy good prices on everything. So that's why I felt like there was no need to negotiate. This counter will tell you right here. Let's see how much profit we could get off of this box. We do have a few more Yeezys left. So let's just get right into those. These ones are a size five and a half. And these are the Yi Chi Che. Yi Che. Bro, these names is ridiculous. Uh oh. Yeah, you know, I was a little bit iffy on this one. And sometimes when you do bulk deals, you just kind of have to take some risks, okay? I don't have a lot of female followers, but I know a lot of my followers have chicks. So this one is going to be for one of you guys. I don't know how to pronounce this colorway. It's not one of my favorite colorways, to be honest. This is just like, what is going on? They're definitely interesting. I don't know what colorway it's inspired by. I don't know what they were trying to do here. Not my cup of tea, but size five and a half. And they're in stupid good condition too. So if you guys are interested in these, maybe for the home girl, maybe for your girlfriend, these are it. These are probably worn one time. These things are stupid clean. And I know they're gonna add some value to the counter. So if I'm able to flip these, it's gonna be nice for me. I was about to open another Yeezy, but let's switch it up real quick. Let's switch it up. This one wasn't even in the deal and he just threw it in. It's almost like the icing on the cake, right? Just getting rid of shoes. So we have a size nine and a half pair of Nike Zoom KD4s. These are the white and photo blue colorway. Like I said, these were just a freebie. So I appreciate you, Chris. Um, you really didn't have to do all this, man, but I do appreciate it. These are super clean KD4. You can't go wrong with it. They have the blue swoosh, primarily white uppers and they look super comfortable now this is a worn pair but like most of the pairs in this bulk deal a lot of them are already in stupid nice condition i'm not going to be looking for much on this pair so that was a little freebie thank you man yo before i continue comment down below what you guys think about this whole series going on right here what do you like most about it do you guys like seeing how i'm coming up on these sneakers do you guys like seeing the profit do you guys like learning about how i'm doing everything just comment down below like, what's the most entertaining part about these kind of videos because i'm just curious to see what you guys think peep these out these are size 9 air jordan 1 retro high og black medium gray and white and what does that mean what does that mean? 2017 Nike Air Jordan Shadow 1s. Who remembers when these things were so freaking easy to get? I was literally cashing people out for $180. That's retail with tax. I held on to them for a while and resale was hitting about $220, so I just offloaded it back then. I just didn't want to wait. But yes, this is a really freaking clean pair of the Shadow 
ones and keeping up with the Air Jordan ones let's check these out these are the Air Jordan 1 court purples size 9 are they the recent court purples these are the ones that everybody wants oh hold up hold up do you hear the cows I hear the cows these are Filthy. Oh my god. These are in really nice condition as well. You got some toe box creasing, but not bad at all. Y'all like space? Y'all like space? You want to know why? Because I see a lot of stars. Yo, I need a cringe meter on this video right here. But yes, guys, the court purple, the OG court purples. These things are fire. Purple slowly becoming one of my favorite colors. So I already have these as a personal and size nine money size now if you guys are getting into reselling anything um the money sizes i would say is like size eight eight and a half nine and nine and a half those are basically the sizes that go for more compared to the rest sometimes big sizes but not usually all right just stick from like that eight all the way to nine and a half whenever you get something and it's going to go for a little bit more i mean go ahead check stock x all right even gs sizes they go for crazy money if you guys are able to get any air jordan 1 gs sit on it for a few months prices go up anyways we have a size 9 pair of the air jordan 11s now these are of course the bread air jordan 11s and man i was going to clean up a lot of the shoes in this video but, but as i'm just doing this video i'm like man a lot of these shoes do not need anything and of course as i say that i pick out a shoe that has a little mark right here don't worry about this guys i'm gonna use my secret stuff we're working on brand name website bottling it and all that good stuff right now so hang tight with me but yeah this is just a slight scuff on this sneaker other than that these things are nice these things are clean i worn a couple times but honestly once i wipe these down you won't be able to tell at all so this is definitely a solid sneaker air jordan bread 11s can't go wrong with the og colorway and retails 220 on them and they still look brand new so those for sure will hit this counter is looking massive right now huh guys and we actually have three sneakers left which is insane so like i said if y'all have buyouts like this and it's stuff that i could profit off of Hit me up. Let's go ahead and dip back into Yeezy land real quick. This is a size five and a half. These are the Yeezreels. Weird names, man, weird names. These almost remind me of those yellow ones that release with the gum bottoms. Very similar, just a little bit more of like a green tone to it. But this one feels definitely like a highlighter shoe. Perfect for the summer. The only thing about this pair is that it does have some stains of some sort at the bottom, but you know, that is the bottom, so. I don't think it's a big deal for this one. Insoles look very clean. Can't complain about that. So these were probably worn maybe one or two times. They just ended up stepping in something. So size five and a half, Yeez Reels. Link in description. If you guys wanna hook anybody up, buy a pair for yourself, you know where to go. Okay guys, we're gonna tone this video down. We're coming up on the last two pairs of this video. We got the fancy Air Jordan box. One of my favorite boxes actually. I gotta give it up to Jordan Brand for making this box. I think this is one of the more cooler boxes. But these are a size nine and a half of the Air Jordan 3. But these are really cool. A lot of people slept on these i think these hit outlets at a certain point it has nice fur on it dope cheetah print zebra print on the back just a really cool sneaker to wear to be honest super unique if you guys are trying to turn heads this pair was in super good condition as well probably worn one time super lightly so these are a good shoe i think retail was a bit high for these it was 225 dollars but the materials were made up for these the last shoe for this box this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven the last shoe 11th shoe we have a size 10 yeezy boost 350 yeez re and yes highlighter vibes summer vibes hey if you're a size 10 and your girl's a size five and a half we got a potential match coming up for you these ones are in really good condition as well probably worn one time you already know chris you killed this box. You killed this bulk deal. This is what I love to see, man. He was super happy with it. He ended up getting all the money that he wanted for these shoes. And now that you guys saw everything, let's break down what we were able to profit on this box. So the total that we spent was $19.50. And whenever I sell all of these sneakers for the competitive market price, I should be getting this value right here. Now keep in mind, that's not all of our profit. Whenever you guys wanna calculate profit, what you do is you calculate your total revenue and you subtract the money that you put into it. What was your cost in order to get this box? And whatever's left is pure 
profit, cold hard cash. Yo, I feel like I'm a professor. I feel like I'm teaching a college course or something. But yes, you guys see it on the screen. That is going to be my profit for this box. And there's a lot of ways to make money out there. I think flipping shoes is one of the dope ones. But anyways, let's clean those bread 11s real quick before I let y'all go. Just because I want to show you guys just a quick way of cleaning up your shoes. Let me find the one that was messed up. All right, so that's the quick stain right there. We're just gonna get my secret stuff, my bottle of secret stuff, secret goodness. So we're gonna be using a harder brush. This one's from Angelus Foam Cleaner, which works really well because the bristles. So that's going to help us get this out right here. Oh, y'all like that, huh? Y'all like that, huh? Nowhere to be found. All right, y'all, it's getting pretty late, so I just wanted to end this video right here. Main thing I wanted to teach you guys is that you can make a decent amount of money flipping things if you just put your mind to it, and if you're able to find these deals, it makes it so much more easy. If y'all wanna find bulk deals, I recommend going on Facebook Marketplace. There's a lot of sneaker groups on there. There's a lot of local places that you can find sneaker heads just doing their thing, buying, selling, and trading, and you are gonna find those people that want to sell stuff in bulk. Maybe they're getting out of the sneaker game, they need money for something, whatever. You have to be the one that goes out in the field to go grab these deals and deals. Nine times out of 10, they are not going to find you on their own, all right? And also, like you guys just saw, whenever you guys are cleaning something, you have to make sure you're using the right brush. If you use a soft bristle brush for a hard stain, it's not gonna work. My apologies if my energy was a little bit low. Like I said, it is pretty late and I didn't wanna get you guys a video. That was like a week from now, you know what I mean? I wanted to see you guys, I wanted to talk. I wanted to do this video just to show my face to all of you guys what I've been up to. Your boy has been working. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're a new subscriber. Join the team, and I'll see you guys for the next one, all right? It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. Have a beautiful day. I'm out. Peace.